yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today guys i'll be showing you on five awesome clothing glitches that are still working and also if you're new here remember to subscribe with the bell notification as well now let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video so for the first clothing glitch you would need a paramedic outfit and i'll be showing you an easy way on how to get invisible arms and they do stick so with your paramedic outfit, just make your way to any clothing store on the map. It doesn't matter which one you go to. You will need to go over to the top section, go over to overcoat blazers, and go over to no top. So after you do select it, basically just back out from the top section. And the cool thing about this is they do stick. The cool thing about this glitch is you can also add any color duffel bag. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's not waste any more time, and let's move on to the second clothing glitch. Now, go over to the closest clothing store once again, go over to the front counter. I'll be showing you on an easy way on how to get invisible arms once again. Now, go over to the front counter, go over to outfits, go to diamond casino heights. Now, go over to refuse collectors, and choose the pickup. Now back out from the front counter and make your way over to the top section like this. Now once you're there, you will need to find the category once again called overcoat blazers. Once you're there, select the no top. Now back out from the top section and your invisible arms should disappear like this. The awesome part of this glitch is pretty cool. So you could also change the pants, change the shoes. You can also put on a face mask or add a helmet and you can also add a badge and a duffel bag to this outfit and the invisible arms do stick so give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's move on to the third clothing glitch of this video now guys i'll be showing you on how to transfer any color duffel bag so if you have the green one the red one white one blue one any color duffel bag you have i'll be showing you the easiest method and a solo method that works on ps4 pc and xbox one now just basically make your way over to the closest ammunition store it doesn't matter which one you go to this does not delete no outfits this is the best method and it is solo now guys make sure you have the saved outfit you want the duffel bag on so if you want a certain duffel bag on a certain outfit apply the outfit you want the duffel bag on right now and you will need to go over to the front counter and purchase an israel troop bag and if you already own an israel troop bag just basically equip it on through your interaction menu and make sure you equip the israel troop bag on the outfit you want the duffel bag to be transferred over to so now Make sure you done save this as an outfit with the Israel troop bag on right now. On on this next part, guys, is apply the outfit with the duffel bag you want to transfer over to your new outfit. So apply, I want this blue duffel bag, right? So apply it and you will need any sort of flying vehicle and you will need to head over to the mass store. You will need to fly really high like this, jump out of your flying vehicle, open up your parachute, now open up your interaction menu, go over to style. Now apply the saved outfit you just made at the ammunition store. Now back out from the interaction menu. And on this next part guys is basically all you want to do is glide into the mass store. This part's very tricky to get. So once you glide into the mass store like this, continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mass store opens up for you. If you did it correctly, it should like this. Now. Just save this as an outfit, back out from the mass store, and walk away from the mass store at least like 5 feet. Apply the outfit you just saved, and your duffel bag should transfer over to your new outfit. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's move on to the 4th clothing glitch. For the 4th clothing glitch, I'll be showing you a different way on how to get invisible arms. It does work on male and female character. This does not delete no outfits, so you're safe. And it does work on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Now make your way to the closest clothing store. It doesn't matter. Go over to the front counter. Now go over to outfits. Go to scuba. Then you can purchase any scuba outfit you want. So if you don't have a lot of money, purchase the cheapest one available. Now save this as an outfit once. Now once you're done, save this as an outfit once. Just back out one time. 
you will need to go over to body suits so go over to body suits now you will need to purchase the electric bodysuit. now just back out from the front counter now make your way over to the closest telescope so we could do the telescope glitch now all you want to do is run past the telescope while pushing right on the d-pad pull away from the telescope at the exact same time your mask should disappear like this off your character's face open up your interaction menu go over to style go over to outfits now apply the scuba gear outfit we just saved now back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and if you did it correctly your outfit should look exactly like mine now make your way over to the mask store go over where these t-shirts are on the stand then you will need to go over to vest then scroll all the way down on vest then you could purchase the black vest so purchase the black vest now back out from the mask store and go over where the water is next to the pier on the left side now just enter the water like this and you should see your scuba gear outfit appear like this now just get on top of this wooden pallet open up your interaction menu and choose the option kill yourself now once you've done that you will be spawning on the beach so once you do spawn on the beach your character should be taking off his scuba gear equipment and your invisible arms do stick and they do not disappear the cool thing about this glitch is guys is you can also change the pants change the shoes add a mask add a helmet also if you want to add an fib badge you could and also add a duffel bag and the cool thing about this is you can put on gloves now let's not waste any more time let's go on to the fifth and final clothing glitch of this video now i will be showing you on how to save the fib badge and this is so low it does work on xbox one ps4 and pc this also does work on male and female character now you would need an arcade if you do not own an arcade you can always tell your buddy to lend you his then you would need to register as ceo or mc it doesn't matter which one and the location of the arcade it doesn't matter so it doesn't matter which location the arcade business is at it will still work now enter the arcade then you will need to go over to the heights planning board then after you've done that just basically push right on the d-pad to view the heights planning board then you will need to select the mission called the hacking device now once you do launch the mission called hacking device you will be spawning outside with the tuxedo slash suit if you do not spawn with one basically just put find new session and continue to do the mission to it spawns you with the suit slash tuxedo and if you do spawn in with the suit slash tuxedo now you need to make your way over to the closest ammunition store after lester's stops talking to you now once he does stop talking to you go over to the closest ammunition store go over where these jackets are on the wall now select the outfit you want the fib badge on so i want the fib badge on this outfit right now go over to the yellow destination marker where lester tells you to go to once you're at the yellow destination marker basically just kill off the agents so kill every single agent that is there now you don't have to be in a rush and if you do die during this mission the glitch will still work now after you do kill off the agents just basically walk over where this agent is where the he dropped the fib badge on the ground just push right on the d-pad then you should see the fib badge appear on your character's chest like this now on this next part guys is make your way over to the closest ammunition store it doesn't matter which one is available make your way over where the jackets are on the wall now you will need to save this as an outfit twice now once you done save this as an outfit all you want to do is just go to online and just put find new session and your fib badge should be on your new saved outfit and also guys if you're new here remember to subscribe with the bell notification as well give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you need any help on any clothing glitch Hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.